Hey, what's going on, Aries? So you have the King of Wands, uh, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, uh, Page of Pentacles, the Fool. Then you have the Moon, Seven of Swords, the Devil, the Star, and the Page of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is you happen to be in a situation where... Um, so a lot of you Aries are very much so with the mentality of forget a lot of things, throwing caution, uh, throwing caution into the wind. Page of Pentacles, the the uh, the fool. I mean, the King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. I mean, we I could read this, but it's really about you know just kind of taking a look down memory lane and and realizing that you know you're in a very good spot right now in your life and that you don't really have anyone on your back stressing you out pretty much but the eight of wands can also represent the internal dialogue well it really does represent the internal dialogue that you have and the page of pentacles and the fool is about how you aries understand that you're free you know you're not necessarily in a relationship you're having fun things are starting to look up for you things are starting to go well for you like i've been talking about and a lot of you Aries are really realizing that, you know, the nonsense really comes from a lot of other people a lot of the times. The moon, so you're still deciding to, you you think that a lot of you Aries are going to be on this type of time for forever. <laughs> you know, ghosting the entire world. Well, that's my cat. If it doesn't make any kind of sense, then it is what it is. And you just won't be with them. Seven of Swords, the devil, but you know, like I said, it's the it's the uh, the obsession. You know, um, you Aries may have gotten someone obsessed that you stopped talking to fairly recently. You know, if you don't believe me, refer back to my last Aries video. Okay. Also, I have an Aries playlist somewhere around here. Go ahead and check that out. Watch more of my videos, please. Watch more of my Aries videos. Ton of great content. But the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles represents just that. You knew them. You were trying to get to know them. It wasn't anything serious. Probably went out with them once, hung out with them once. And you decided that you didn't want to be with them. So guess what it is that you did? You ghosted them. You know, you didn't want to turn it into this big stink, this big problem. So you Aries is like, okay, you're out. But now the Seven of Swords and the Devil represent. So as a result of this, they're obsessed with you now. Because now it's like they have the mentality of, well, what happened? Why is it that you just going to hang out with you and then literally ghost just like that? But they're not taking it, you know, they're taking it super personally. You know what I mean? They're not taking it, taking it into consideration that, hey, you know, it's okay. You know? Um... So now, <laughs> again, the star card, they, the star card and the page of cups, they want answers. You know, they want to, they, they're trying to get in contact with you, trying to get answers like, hey, what happened? What's going on? And you Aries see it. They're lighting your phone up. But again, a lot of you Aries are really not taking it personally. It's just that you Aries see it for what it is. You don't see, you saw something in this person that you didn't like. And instead of alarming the person, letting the other person know that you are aware of their nonsense, you decided that you're going to leave them alone. And that's very good of you, right? You should never, this is my suggestion, Aries. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. You sh if you, if a, if a person is a great individual, they're decent, right? And the two of you don't see eye to eye, let them know that you're not feeling them anymore. But if the person is, you know, if you see that the person is dysfunctional and they're troubled, then yeah, you can't tell them that because they're going to take that personally. They're going to think that you're abandoning them. They're going to think that, you know, you're just like all the other ones. So it's going to be a big stink even when you trying to make your way out of the door peacefully. You're trying to actually end the relationship peacefully and not contribute to the damage. But here they are, they're going to take that in offense. They're going to get upset. They're going to be mad about this. So it's the best thing for you to do is to ghost those types of people. 
Now it's up to you to decide which is which. This is why you can't just be running around ghosting absolutely everyone, right? Some people, it's not a very good idea to ghost because these can be very great people, but you just ghosting them, it's like, ah, uh, you know, it's disrespectful to them. But yeah, they want to know why. They're going to want to know why. They're contacting you, trying to figure out what's going on. And a lot of you Aries may be getting the phone calls and the text messages. Or maybe you have their maybe you have their number blocked, but they're trying to contact you. Let's clarify the um the moon. Okay, let's clarify the moon. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the world, yeah, the death card. Yeah, it, it yeah. You saw something in them that could be a potential problem later on. You Aries just wasn't really going for it. So what did you do? You decided to leave those people alone. You know, you did it for self-preservation. It's not anything personal. But at the same time, you also realized that it would have been a hassle trying to tell them to let's end whatever kind of connection we have peacefully, right? They would have made a, a problem out of that. And that's something that you wanted to avoid, right? with all costs but then you have the world and the um the death card which you know so instead of telling them that right because you knew it would be a problem you just decided to use your right to travel and get up on out of there you know instead of it having to turn into this drama show so okay Okay, so I mean overall though you Aries are going to continue to move on talk to other people it doesn't even have to be so dramatic like that, but they're making it dramatic. 